Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Saturday, the 14th of October, 2023, of the 27th week, in ordinary time, is the optional memorial of St. Callistus I, Pope and Martyr. To me must you run in every decision, and not depend on your own judgment. Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, my heart is restless until it rests in you. Help me to live in your presence and in the knowledge of your great love for me. May I seek to please you in all that I do, say, and think. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word St. Callistus I Callistus' career followed an unlikely path from slave to pope and martyr. Callistus served in a prominent family's household and was blamed for financial management. He was sentenced to do manual labor in Rome and was later exiled to work in the mines of Sardinia. Pope Victor's efforts to secure pardon for Christians in the mines freed Callistus. He returned to Rome where he was given charge of the cemetery that still bears his name. Callistus became a deacon under Pope Zephyrinus, whom he succeeded as Bishop of Rome around the year 217. Before his martyrdom about five years later, Callistus was vehemently opposed because of his teaching that the Church would forgive even the worst of sinners. The Epistle Apply the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel, chapter 4, verse 12. Thus says the Lord, Let the nations bestir themselves and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there will I sit in judgment upon all the neighboring nations. Apply the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come and tread, for the winepress is full. The vats overflow, for great is their malice. Crowd upon crowd in the valley of decision, for near is the day of the Lord in the valley of decision. Sun and moon are darkened, and the stars withhold their brightness. The Lord roars from Zion, and from Jerusalem raises his voice. The heavens and the earth quake, But the Lord is a refuge to his people, a stronghold to the children of Israel. Then shall you know that I, the Lord, am your God, dwelling on Zion, my holy mountain. Jerusalem shall be holy, and strangers shall pass through her no more. And then, on that day, the mountains shall drip new wine, and the hills shall flow with milk and the channels of Judah shall flow with water. A fountain shall issue from the house of the Lord to water the valley of Shittim. Egypt shall be a waste, and Edom a desert waste. Because of violence done to the people of Judah, because they shed innocent blood in their land. But Judah shall abide forever, and Jerusalem for all generations. I will avenge their blood and not leave it unpunished. The Lord dwells in Zion. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 97 Responsorial verse Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord is King. All the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are around him, 
justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice, and all peoples see his glory. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Light dawns for the just, and gladness for the upright of heart. Be glad in the Lord, you just, and give thanks to his holy name. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia Blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia The Gospel Blessed is the womb that carried you. Rather, blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 11, verse 27. While Jesus was speaking, a woman from the crowd called out and said to him, Blessed is the womb that carried you, and the breasts at which you nursed. He replied, Rather, blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation Blessed is the womb that carried you and the breast at which you nursed. Luke chapter 11 verse 27 Have you ever been so moved in your emotions that you spontaneously expressed your thoughts out loud? Perhaps this was what happened to the woman in today's gospel. She called out to Jesus in the middle of his teaching to exclaim, how blessed was the woman who had born and nursed a son like him. This unnamed woman must have been listening intently to Jesus that day because his words pierced her heart, probably in a way she had never experienced before. And yet, how surprised she must have been by Jesus' reply. Rather, blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. Luke chapter 11 verse 28 So not only was Mary, the mother of Jesus, blessed, but so was this woman in the crowd as she heard Jesus proclaiming the word of God. Maybe Jesus' reply to her echoed in her mind for the rest of her life. Maybe it even led her to become his follower. Do you ever consider how blessed you are every time you sit with the Lord and read his word in the scriptures? This is a gift that keeps on giving. The more we ponder God's word, the more our minds and hearts are enlightened and the more we want to follow Jesus. He captivates us just as he captivated this woman that day long ago. And when God's words pierce our hearts, we want to observe them, even if we do so imperfectly at times. You might not be feeling particularly blessed today, especially if you are struggling in some way. But the fact that you are turning to Jesus, that you are eager to hear his word, means that you are giving him the chance to touch you, heal you, and reassure you of his love. So receive his blessing. Let this time with him and his word reorient you. Let it move your heart as it did this woman, and let it make you ever more committed to following him wherever it might lead you. 
Lord, thank you for blessing me with your word and your presence today. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May his peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.